Glass Confections. I'm your host Kendra and today is Monday as I'm filming this and this is just going to be a weekly vlog showing you guys what I wore this week. Maybe take you guys around with me and show you what I do as a busy work from home mom in New York City. So today keeping it very casual so let me flip the camera around and show you guys today's ensemble. All right, peeps. So today I am mostly working from home. I dropped Christian off at school earlier because he has been home sick for an entire week <laughs> and I'm way behind on work. One of my clients has a big trade show, so I just want to be comfortable, but I do have to run a few errands out in the city today. So in any case, I'm wearing this little jumpsuit. It's made out of the coziest like sweatshirt material. I got this from Club Monaco ooh, a few years ago, like ooh, several years ago can't even remember like at least five so every time I go to get rid of it I try it on and it's just so cozy <laughs> the bottoms have shrunk a little bit but I actually like that I feel like this length is a little bit more flattering on me so in case that is that and then I'm just wearing the C by Chloe sneakers that I got from the now <sighs> defunct century 21 discount designer clothing store in New York City and let me show you what I'm going to wear this with because it's super cute. Hold on. So the weather has turned chilly in New York. Finally, I'm so happy. I love this time of year. So anyway, it's like 50 degrees out. So I get to wear this puffy or like quilted cape that I got from H&M recently. I love it so much. So I will pop a picture up just so you guys can kind of get the full effect and see how it looks. But I stalked the H&M website for like weeks waiting for this and it's sold out. But then I finally found it in store and I am in love. Now it does run big. So I got a large and I definitely could have gotten a medium. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it wasn't worth it to return. So <laughs> anyway, I'm keeping the large and I think I'm also going to get some elbow length gloves. I like doing that. If, um, I'm wearing a cape. I love capes with, like long gloves. I think they're so cute. And I love how this one is super casual. So yeah, it's so cozy and easy to throw on. And especially if you're someone like me, like I run hot ever since I gave birth to Christian. Um, he's three now, but <laughs> I don't know, my body chemistry changed. And so I get overheated very easily. So something like this that I can just like easily slip on or off. And it also has these little snaps on the side that I can undo. Um, this is perfect for someone like me and then it doesn't zip all the way so you have to do have to put it over your head but yeah I love it I love it so much I think it would look cute too with orange accessories so if I get like a little orange skull cap I think this will look super cute so yes that is today's outfit and just show you guys what I'm doing today I am heading out to do some returns and go to the grocery store because I was supposed to be shopping for myself for my birthday and of course I wound up getting something for Christian instead. <laughs> Isn't that how it always works out? Anyway, I got him this adorable little Polo Ralph Lauren sweatshirt. It's like this black watch plaid, which is my husband Eric's favorite print. And it's a 3T. He's three years old, but I saw online they had the 4T. And I think he'll get more wear out of it because he has a bit of a tummy. So <laughs> I think that'll definitely be good. And then huge fail on my part. This is... I call myself trying to buy some shoes so I've been obsessed with those like Prada chunky loafers that you've probably seen all over Instagram and so I was like okay I don't know if I want to shell out for those so let me try the look for less so I bought these chunky bit loafers from H&M guys these look horrendous on me <laughs> absolutely ridiculous i tried them on in the store and i don't know maybe i was tipsy because i did have a glass of champagne first um but yeah no these are not it <laughs> i might still go to prada and try on the real version just to see if maybe just like the look for less just didn't work out but i don't know i think that maybe the style is just not for me so i carry a lot of my weight in my thighs but my legs are very skinny so i just look like a chicken with these big frankenstein shoes on 
<laughs> and it was just not the move so i'm gonna return those hopefully find something else that works out better but yeah yeah that's all i have to say about that so in any case that is that and i will see you later Whew, getting out of the house was an ordeal i forgot <laughs> my return and forgot my keys and everything so in any case we made it another beautiful gorgeous crisp fall morning and I've just dropped Christian off at school I'm getting ready to head to Starbucks and get something to wake me up <laughs> I've been up for a while but like I don't know it's just like one of those mornings I didn't want to get Not up because I was tired but just because I was I don't know feeling lazy so in any case <laughs> he made it to school on time early in fact so I guess I wasn't being too lazy in any case Today, like I said, I'm embracing the fall weather, so I'm wearing this jacket that I got from H&M recently. It's so cozy. I love these little jackets. I think it's like my third or fourth one now. Uh, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you guys later. I'm gonna go home and do something to this face and to this hair, maybe put on some clothes or a real outfit. I'm just wearing leggings and a t-shirt right now. And I'll catch you guys. Hey peeps, I'm back. So, <laughs> funny story. I wound up being chained to my desk the entire day. Didn't even have really a chance to take a lunch break. I just threw some leftover Chinese from last night into the microwave and ate it in front of the computer while I was still working. So, anyway, <laughs> it's time to go pick Christian up. And I just threw on this sweater dress. So this is one of my like style hacks when I'm like busy and I don't have time to like think of an outfit all black and then this time of year just a sweater dress and some cute shoes back in the day these would have been heels or maybe like some cute boots but you know i'm wearing my mom's shoes right now <laughs> so you know i love these bass weegens and this is like a little googly eye speaking of mom duty <laughs> from one of christian's halloween crafts anyway i'm wearing my bass weegens i love these two-tone shoes and this sweater dress that i got from express last year i believe and then I have this little wimpy ponytail on top of my head. So <laughs> I actually got this hat. It's a straw boater hat, but I feel like it's black so I can still get away with it. But I got this, it's lack of color and I got it from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame when we went to Cleveland earlier this summer. So that is today's or this afternoon's ensemble as I dash off to get Christian. So I will see you later or maybe tomorrow because today is still busy. Hey peeps, happy Wednesday. So today I'm just gonna jump in and show you today's school drop off outfit. <laughs> So in the mornings when I'm getting Christian off to school, I don't really have time to do much. So this sweater is actually special to me. So it is an Aaron sweater and I got this for our first time taking Christian on an international trip. So we went to Ireland and we went to the Aaron Islands. And so this sweater was hand knit by one of the, or a company, the Aaron Sweater Company. I will link it down below because they have some cute things, especially for kids. There's a sweater we got Christian that he outgrew and I love it so much. <laughs> Any case, I just threw this on. It's 100% wool, which unfortunately when it gets wet, it does get like a little stinky. Like it smells like a sheep when it gets wet. <laughs> that's how you know it's authentic any case i'm wearing this and these leggings that i got from fabletics because i might work out i'm not sure i should work out 
I should work out. Okay. <laughs> and then on my feet, my happy sneakers that are on their last leg. These are these Burberry sneakers that I got a long time ago. Like these are years old and I swapped out the laces for these cute red ones, but I got the wrong length. So they're super long. So that's why I have them tied kind of like ballerina style around my ankle. So yes, this is my outfit for today, uh, for the morning at least. Yes, so I'm gonna make myself a green smoothie, take a shower, put on something cute, cause it's gonna be like 77 degrees today. Oh. I love fall, but I do like these little warmer days sprinkled in as well. So <laughs> I'm gonna figure out if I have something warm or something you know for warm weather that I can wear that I still have in my closet. Right. All right, peeps. So I'm going to make myself a green smoothie and I will just tell you guys straight up. I have done every type of cleanse, <laughs> um, juicing, all of that. I love that stuff. And actually, um, I try to do juicing. I try to do regularly or sorry, smoothies as opposed to juicing. I have like a huge juicer. I got like a power blender back here and all of that. But you know, honestly, I find that consistency comes when I just make it super simple. So I'm gonna show you just like my super quick like smoothie recipe is three ingredients. Like literally, I like Vega protein powder and this is the caramel toffee which is good but like chocolate is probably my favorite so i might sprinkle in a few smoothie recipes in this video just because i do like these and i notice a difference in my skin and just like overall the way i feel when i have one or two of these a day also too your girl has been traveling and celebrating her birthday month and so the eating has gotten a little bit uh <laughs> it's getting it's getting to me so <laughs> i'm trying to like do a little reset especially before the holidays so yeah any case so the vega protein powder i love and then almond milk i find is um better than water in my smoothie. that's where i was messing up before with my smoothies and my protein shakes almond milk makes all the difference you can also do oat milk and whatnot i like this brand Khalifa, Khalifia Farms. It's unsweetened and the vanilla flavor makes a big difference too, taste wise. Um, but it also has no carrageenans. Um, am I pronouncing that carrageenan? Yeah, carrageenan free. I think that's like that filler or like thickener that they put in some almond milks. I don't like the taste of it, so I like this a lot. And then last, just a handful of spinach. I try all so, types of greens in my smoothie. Like sometimes I'll do kale. I like kale and celery and things like that more for juices than for smoothies. With spinach, I think has like the mildest flavor and the most palatable. And that's it and some ice, ice. So like I said, I have juicers. I have my big blender back here, but I bought this on vacation. One time I was trying to be good. <laughs> We actually went to Niagara Falls earlier this year, like in the spring, and I bought this and I have just been using it. So let me show you guys how I make my little simple smoothie. I do so I over the years have acquired a taste for greens so for some people this might not be sweet enough so you can add stevia if you want to or like agave nectar um, I'm trying to see if I have the stevia here so yeah I do like to use these little stevia packets just like one packet in here is enough for me but honestly I don't even need after a while you'll find that you don't need the extra sweetness so if you are trying to get into green smoothies and just don't like the taste you can add the stevia also too you could do apple i probably wouldn't do apple with the protein shake but you can do frozen fruit like i keep a bag of frozen fruit in the freezer and yeah so <laughs> when i'm trying to lose weight i'll do two of these one for breakfast one for lunch and then like snacks in between and then like a balanced dinner <laughs> 
so yeah that's it peeps got myself together and now i'm ready to head out for the day so like i said it's gonna be 77 degrees so <laughs> it is october so i didn't want to be too summery but i did find this little white cotton top it's like a t-shirt but the sleeves are like this puffy poplin material and then this nice heavy like white denim or kind of off-white denim jumpsuit that i got from h m i want to say last year or the year before so i love this thing so much and i usually like to wear it with like an off the shoulder top underneath it's really cute but because like again it is october I'm trying to be seasonally appropriate and then on my feet my favorite little comfy shoes these are a pair of penny loafers from cole Haan. i love this little two-tone look and the cream matches these overalls perfectly and then just my leather um, bucket bag from ralph lauren so that is the ensemble and i'm heading downtown because i always find myself hanging around midtown 59th street area just because it's easy to get to but i'm headed downtown for a little treat for myself a little birthday treat so i'm a big old kid at heart so i will show you where we're going in just a minute <laughs> So before I head to our destination, I decided to stop and have just a little lunch. So I found this super cute restaurant, Manja. And it's just like a little place. Like I used to go to these all the time when I worked in an office. They just have like stations with pasta, soup, sandwiches, and whatnot. So I'm having a butternut squash soup. And I'm trying to be healthy, y'all. Um, <laughs> I got one of these little detox shots. So it has lemon, ginger, and cayenne. So. I don't know if this really does anything, but I figure why not, so. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have lunch now and then we're gonna head to our destination. So yes, your girl is a big fat nerd. I took myself to the Harry Potter store. I have been waiting to go to this store ever since it opened a few months ago and it did not disappoint. <laughs> I was literally like a kid in a candy store. It was so cool to see all of the products and things from the movie and the books brought to life. And of course I had to try butterbeer and it was so good. There's no alcohol, but I did bring a few bottles home. Just got to figure out how to make that foam recipe. Uh, one thing I will say is that they had tons of things for you to spend your money on. Uh, your girl did not wind up buying a wand, but don't be surprised if I do wind up with one. And there are two floors. So I was headed down now to just check out the bottom floor and head to a virtual reality experience, which unfortunately I was not able to film. But if you have a chance, definitely do it. Speaking of spending money, <laughs> for the low price of $3,500, you can have your own personalized Hogwarts acceptance letter. So I just finished my virtual experience. It was so much fun, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I'm glad I came by myself and didn't take Christian because I think he would have enjoyed it, but he might have fallen off his broomstick. So <clears throat> in any case, I did get a few goodies. So I was in. So you know, Christian, it's time to pick him up from school. So <laughs> headed back home now. Hey peeps, today is a Thursday and it is a very hectic day for me. Not hectic, just busy. So I forgot slash, I conveniently forgot um, that I'm doing a webinar this afternoon. So it's with SCORE and I'm doing a webinar teaching business owners how to set up a Shopify e-commerce store. So 
I'm a bit out of practice because <laughs> the last time I did this workshop was a few months ago. So now this morning I have to like create a Shopify account and like get everything all set up. But I already have the slides and I've created so many Shopify sites, so it shouldn't be too bad. But in any case, I also have to clean the house from top to bottom, which it's not in too bad a shape. So hopefully that won't take me too long. And then I have to make a game time decision. One of my clients is having a trade show out in Brooklyn, so I don't have to be there, but I did help them prep for it and whatnot, and I would kind of like to attend. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that and pick Christian. No, Eric would have to pick Christian up. So <laughs> in any case, I'm like trying to figure out my day and just kind of roll with it as it comes. So I will show you today's outfit, um, <laughs> which isn't much, but here we go. All right, so I just dropped Christian off at school and I am wearing another pair of leggings from Fabletics and then one of these like oversized tunics. So typically I wear this outfit when I travel, but I just threw this on today because I don't I didn't have time for much else. And then if I figure if I throw on some nice earrings and and uh, maybe a necklace or something, <laughs> if I'm doing a webinar from like the waist up. <laughs> I should look presentable so that's today's outfit no shoes because I'm in the house and then you'll see they're like random jewels all over the floor because I was doing a little bit of Halloween crafts with Christian so that is that so to top everything off I could not sleep last night I don't know what the issue was so I woke up in the middle of the night and I sometimes do wake up at like 4 a.m. sometimes um, so I woke up and I was thinking like it was maybe 3 or 4 a.m. It was 1.30. <laughs> it was 1.30. I was so sad. I'm like, no. <laughs> that means like, I think I went to bed at like 11. So, and that sometimes happens too when I go to bed too early. My body is just like, uh-uh, party time. So, yeah. <laughs> so in any case, when I have nights like that, and then today I have to be on camera, for this webinar so I'm just gonna do my little morning routine that helps me look presentable so I'm gonna put on these eye patches you see these like gold gel eye patches I took out of the refrigerator so they can be nice and cool and refreshing to help wake me up and then I will drop a link down um, I did a morning routine video a while back. I did a modified version this morning, but there's this like five or six minute morning like meditation that I do that's supposed to wake up and energize the body. And I really feel like it does. Like if I feel very groggy in the morning and I do that for five minutes, I do notice a difference, definitely. So I'm doing that. And then I'm gonna have maybe a green smoothie before my call, but before that, in the morning the first thing I like to drink is just a little bit of water and I like to have fresh squeezed lemon but I don't have any lemon in the house right now so I just use <laughs> real lemon and then a few drops of iodine so actually just one drop of iodine I just do that so doo -doo -doo. just drop that and it's like a little medicine dropper you get and then I take my vitamins so i do a hair skin and nail vitamin vitamin d and allergy pills i take zyrtec and then i have astralega which is good for your immune system especially these days and sometimes i'll do some vitamin c as well so i found out that i can just take all these pills at one time and there you go I was taking them one by one individually, which made it seem very daunting. Um, but yeah, just pop them all in your mouth at one time. I mean, maybe I'm just like late to the party learning that, but in any case. <laughs> all right, so we got that. And then I have made my morning coffee in the Keurig. So these days I am into the Starbucks breakfast blend. I was doing Folgers hazelnut for a long time, but this is like the best tasting Keurig coffee that I've found so, so far. I got my little milk frother and <laughs> to foam up my creamer. Um, I was doing pumpkin spice creamer, but I've switched back to hazelnut. 
and hopefully <laughs> I can be awake for this webinar. I'm so glad it's not an early morning webinar. So 11 by 11 o'clock, I should be, you know, awake and alert and, you know, shiny and happy. So <laughs> I will see you guys later. So I just wrapped up that webinar and of course I had some technical difficulties in the beginning so I had to like reboot my computer and my camera wasn't working like the first five minutes before we started so but luckily like down to the wire we got everything working so everything went yes. off without a hitch so I'm very excited to have that done so it is 1 p.m and I am famished <laughs> I actually have a headache from like talking so much and like thinking so i think what i'm gonna do is head out it's like nice out it's like 70 degrees so i think i'm gonna go someplace in the neighborhood grab some lunch and then rush back to like straighten up the apartment a little bit and then go pick up christian so yeah that's that all right peeps so i decided to do a quick outfit change before i head outside because it is gorgeous out and i want to take advantage of showing my legs as long as I can so <laughs> I'm just wearing this little baby doll dress and it's pretty substantial denim I got from H&M maybe like a year or two ago and I really like it I don't wear it often enough you know why because it doesn't have pockets that's why any case <laughs> I busted it out today and then on my feet again just going for some comfort so these are these like really cool metallic shoes they're like mules you just slide in did I get these from these are from J. Crew. I thought they were from Banana, but yeah, they're from J. Crew. I'm telling you guys, J. Crew has like the best shoes. So yeah, that's today's ensemble. I think I'm gonna go and get some Thai food, maybe a mimosa, because I deserve it. So <laughs> I will catch you guys in a minute. <laughs> Friday so I think this is the last day of my vlog <laughs> thank you guys for spending the week with me but uh, today you ever just have one of those days where like everything gets on your nerves <laughs> like everything and everyone has just been pissed me off today so nothing bad has happened I'm just in like like Monica says it's just one of them days um, that a girl grows through <laughs> So anyway, Christian's school was closed. He had the day off today. So he's been home with me. And it's really hard when you're having one of those days and you have a toddler at home. So <laughs> if any of you guys with kids or have been around kids knows that they know how to push your buttons. So anyway, uh, I got out of the house with him. and I didn't even want to film because I was like, let me just focus <laughs> on getting through this day and being present and patient with Christian because I didn't want to snap at him because it's not his fault it's no one's fault but anyhow I'm out here now in Central Park watching the horses go by and the handsome cabs and just trying to like walk off <laughs> whatever shake off this feeling whatever this feeling is so I actually feel a little bit better I was able to stop and have lunch um, I met up with Eric for dinner he got off of work early, so we had lunch at Nordstrom's. And then he took Christian home just so I could have a little bit of time to myself, which I appreciate. I appreciate having that support. So, yeah, I'm just going to walk through the park and head up Fifth Avenue. I'm going on the hunt for shoes and, like, striking out. So, I don't know if I'm even going to go shop or buy anything. I'll probably window shop. We'll see. So, that is all. I'll take you guys with me, as always. <music> and 
and of course I wound up at Zara one of my favorite stores <laughs> and I will show you guys in an upcoming video what I actually wound up taking home with me but I got some goodies as always thank you so much for tuning in listening to me talk about clothes until next time stay classy and stay fabulous Oh, 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 oh,